<laughs> That's not a zander. First we should aim it. We're eating crayfish again. Is it something that they change colour or something? Yeah. Someone's told me. Yeah, they, they go underneath and they go when they start eating the crayfish they go red and oh, yellow underneath. That's what it like, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. Still do. Yeah. But it's not a zander. <laughs> species. They're like spikes and things, that one here enough. Right, so Xander. Keep asking me to do a Xander video and, and as you know I'm not a Xander expert in fact. Um, up until probably last year I'd never even caught a Xander. Um, but now I am an expert because I've caught more than one Xander. <laughs> so I feel like I qualified to do a video. Um, a lot of a lot of lads are, are asking me, are lads, you know, northern lads who've never even fished for Xander so it might be good to just give you a few little differences that I've noticed straight away. Um, you know, a lot of my fishing is like uh, with jerk baits, cranks, and things like that. And, you know, and even if I'm using shads, I'm a lot of jigging it and a lot of everything's fast movement. Um, Xander fishing, straight away I've noticed, and what I've been told is slow it down. A lot of it is a lot slower fishing. Um, you, you literally are sometimes just dragging a load on the bottom, and you've got to be a lot more patient. So that's one thing we've noticed. Uh, I met, with, I met with Jacob today and um, Jacob's took me out and we've uh, been, been Zander fishing. Um, it's been good to have a look at how other people do it and uh, get a few ideas. So we thought we'd we'll just try and give you a few tips. It's not going to be a mega video with hundreds of fish and more scenic things because Zander fishing is... is um, we aren't trying to make it sound boring, it's slower. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Much it's, slower. it's a much, much slower, slower sport, you've got to be more patient, it's not the one bam like pike fishing can be, so you've got to be slower, so filming it is really difficult because, you know, setting the cameras up and everything. So anyway, so it's more about just showing you a few things. So I've got a cheapo, this is actually a drop shot rod. Uh, it's not a Xander fishing rod, it's not something spectacular. I bought this years ago through a drop shot video, but I don't like drop shot. <laughs> right, so, so it's a light rod, and it's basically whatever, one to, one to 10 gram, so I can use small lures. That's a little slim swims on a, on a three gram she get. Uh, things I've been using is uh, the Zeeman TRD, uh, but any soft shad, the little relaxed copy toes. Um, Jake has given me loads of uh, raptulas, I've been using it today and catching on some raptulas. Um, and it's just, honestly, any, any soft shad, different styles might work better, different colours, so it's good. If you like to collect your lures, you know, different different colours, different shapes. We've oh, caught them. You. Sorry. Are you? Uh, <laughs> not, it's, it's like a zander. And he's got it. Like it's got spikes and it's got you know, there's fish in anyway. But like I say, he's been fishing here a while and he's you know he's not expecting a fish straight away. He's working for it because because of the water you can probably just see is uh, it's quite murky and that's typically what Zander fishing is. He's fishing in murky canals. We're in the Midlands. I'm not sure. I'm not to tell you uh, where we are. It's top secret because the standard of fish we've got today is just uh, exceptional. So I can't tell you where we are, but we're in, we're in Midlands area. If you do a little bit of research, fish some canals. Um, now, he's got a much tighter rod than what I've got. <laughs> and it, and it, whereas mine's really soft, I've got a bit of sensitivity in the end, it's a really soft, it's really, really soft compared to his, whereas he's got nice fast action. So, um, I don't know, do you want to just, any reason why you prefer that a little bit better than what I've got? Yeah, so mine's a one piece. Um, to me it's more sensitive, you can feel the bite a lot quicker, the indications are there a lot quicker than sort of two piece breakdown rod. Um, with the extra fast action tip, the bite indicators nice and quick, I think I can strike into it early and hopefully leave the rest it. Yeah, I mean I think, I think I've actually missed a few fish today where probably I will look at looking at his rod and thinking oh I could probably do a little bit fast action rod. But, um, but yeah, but I still, still um, still think this is, you know, it's going to catch your fish, most rods will, so whatever you've got, your perch set up, get out and use it, uh, and just go exploring first and see if it's for you, because it is, it is a, it is a tough, tougher sport, I would say, a bit, a bit of respect for these guys that just zander fish 
patience game. Yeah, it is, it is a proper patience game, you know. Um, we, we fished, for example, we fished a spot, which you'll see, you know, some footage later on, um, and we pretty much covered every bit of a swim uh, and didn't get anything. And then all of a sudden, after 15 minutes, bang, and there's fish after fish. Six yeah, yeah, and it's just, you know, with uh, you need to have patience. Now, what do I always say to you? You know, we pike and perch fishing. You know, you try to find fish, so try and keep mobile. Spend 10 or 15 minutes and move, you know, trying a few of those, but eventually you just, you're just working a couple of those and you're moving. But I think with this, you've got to be a little bit more patient because it right. can just turn on you. Yeah. Small turns of the reel, yeah. Then it'll bang it on the bottom, yeah, on the board. Most of the day you've been on the board, isn't it? Yeah, the yeah, yeah, that was, that was one good thing, yeah. yeah. So slowly, you know, slowly switching it across the bottom, you know, like twitching soft jabs or grubs or TIDs or whatever across the bottom and then that pause, we were leaving the pause and then bang, you're getting a little thump and that's just what it was today, wasn't it? Pretty much. Yeah. You, you were just saying, oh, it, 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 Jacob said to me, oh, uh, seems to be on the pause, so you pause it and then bang straight away, fish, so little things experiment it, but it is slowly working it across the bottom. Um, you can catch on cranks, um, you know, spinner baits and things like that, but start with your soft shads. Um, well, I'll have a look at some. Um, have we got what we've got? Uh, yeah, I'll have a look at one thing to look at. I'll just take the camera off the tripod, it's easier. Try and get a close up of. And that's typically, just try and keep it still. That's typically what we've been using. A weedless. Do you want to pronounce it? Chevarushka. <laughs> yeah, Cheb. <laughs> yeah, it's basically a little lead. That one's one here. and a half gram. Nice and light. Small worm hooks. Anywhere from two and a half to three and a half inch shads, curly tails. And the whole idea of these is a bit is a little bit more weedless, a little bit more snag proof. You, you're dragging it across the bottom, so you're doing this, and you know the fish grab it. And I would a bit, I were a little bit sceptical, thinking, oh, I'm not going to hook up on a zander which have got a little bit bonier, harder mouths, aren't they? Yeah. But but they you've been you've been hooking up really well, aren't you? And, and it makes a difference, I, I've probably lost, you know I'm like, I don't like losing lows and I've lost, <laughs> I've lost, I've lost two lows today, two relaxed copy toe shads, so that's it's about £1.50 down drain and I'm absolutely gutted. Post pocket money gone. Yeah, that's it now, I can't buy no more lows this year. <laughs> um, but like I said, that's a lot better system, so I'd, I'd definitely look at that if you're looking to start with Anders. You can even set up um, worms and TIDs in the same sort of fashion, can't you? Yep. I probably. Well, there's loads of videos out there on, on rigging soft plastics. I might do one one day, but yeah, that's a good good method to go to. Features, lock gates as usual. One thing I've noticed in real recent um, Xander expeditions has been... Got a fish? Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's catching fish on film. He's a pro. I'm just trying to fall in. Is it? <laughs> Need net? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's a perfect. <laughs> nice. So this is it. This is a Zander video, by the way. <laughs> yeah, you can't rumble that, mate. It's a nice fish. Hurt Zander. Yeah. <laughs> nice fish, mate. Nice chunky thing. So you can see straight away that weedless setup's worked. So I'd have no doubts on that that it's hooking up straight away. Just get it a good angle. Smile for the camera. <laughs> yeah, nice. It's not the zander that we came for, but you're not you're, you're still fishing, you're enjoying catching these kind of fish. That's fat food, isn't it? It's been well fed, isn't it? Nice belly on it, yeah. yeah well They're fed, on the yeah. move again. Yeah, nice. Yeah, very good. I forgot what I was saying. <laughs> Weren't expecting that one. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah, nice, good. That's what we're talking about. We're talking about one thing I've noticed is you can just see on, on your canals you've got these inlets in various places and outflows and things. Make sure you give those a, give those a good uh, searching. So um, other th other things, you know, um, bridge, uh, usual stuff, bridges, dark areas, you know, sometimes I've got really peculiar eyes, 
Um, and I think, is it right that they, they like the darker areas, the cloudier, murkier water, that sort of thing? So, um, you know, under your trees and things, you know, the shaded overhangs and things like that. But we found, my experience, like I say, I'm an expert now, I've got, oh, dozen, <laughs> dozen of um, Zander. Yeah, I'm 15, I'm on now. And, um, with the fish I've come, I've come a lot of time I've come from some of the kind of bit of a outflow flowing water, so target those first. But like Jacob says, he, he, he targets those, but he also catches them in the middle of nowhere, you know, just random random cast along as canal with no trees, no flowing water, no nothing, and then bang, same method, and they switch along bottom and he catches Zander, so they are, they do move about, and uh, there seems to be, especially those smaller ones, there seems to be little schools where there's a few ones, so catch one, stick it to it, don't just think, oh, they've gone now, and then stick it for 10, 15, 20 minutes, and, you know, even longer if you if you think there's some fish there, so. Um, like I say, we've got a bit of footage, just a bit of Zander footage, but there's nothing, um, no no major film, but we just wanted to get you on the on the Zander trail and catching fish. Uh, hopefully a few little pointers will get you going, so have a go if, you, if you know, Yorkshire lads, get you to Midlands, Northern lads, get to Midlands, and if you're already at Midlands, just get it going, on your doorstep. <laughs> so honestly, here's a, here's a Zander video. <laughs> yeah, we're going to turn it into a perch. <laughs> Zander perch. Is it one of them spooky alien fish? It's a spooky alien fish? Yes! Result pal, result! And you just missed one and then got one. <laughs> on that white. One angry spooky alien fish. Really ass. I wish we'd got these up north. They really are pretty fish, aren't they? They're amazing, aren't they? Yeah. The coloration of them and those set of gnashes as well. Yeah. Open your mouth. <laughs> They'll lock your, thing, lock your jaw now, aren't you? Has it gone stubborn? Yeah, he's locked it. Yeah. Nice. Hold on, mate. First alien. So that answers my question, let's just have a look at your lure, because I wasn't a bit doubtful about weedless rig up, but... Yeah. I think the, one, the, the, the hooks I've got, like we were talking about earlier, mine are too, too thick, that's really yeah, nice, thin, gauge that's hooks. really thin, that. Yeah. Compared more, it to mine. If you've got a thinner gauge hook... Oh. It hooked up on that perch, but... The ones I'm using is really, yeah, much really thicker thick. gauge. Yeah. You'll have to get that secret off you. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. I, I think that's fine for pike, the ones I'm yeah. using. Softer mouth, though. Yeah. You've got to knock it for a bit of bone on the yeah. zeds. Yeah. Yeah, nice. I'll have to get some of them. The VMC ones I've got in the bag, they're even thinner. 
Yeah, they're literally like even another half of that. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Is it? No, little Z. Little Z. Little Z. Yes. Full school, isn't it? Yeah, isn't it? It's almost alluring. Cold catch and release that. It is. It is. Once I realised it wasn't a 15 pound standard, I just let it go. Again, straight away. This is a bit old. I'm not losing this one. I'm not losing it. You put a strike on that one. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got hooks on these, though. Catching these catting spines. I'm drop that one. <laughs> Don't lose it. <laughs> Getting a little bit bigger. Don't lose it. I'm the Zander man there. Beautiful. Yep. Nailing a few now. So they got proper evil eyes on the. Yeah, I know. It's a strange thing, isn't it? That's got proper silver overlay. <laughs> They're really strange, aren't they? Strange but pretty and... Uh, yeah. A lot of people don't realise that Xander shouldn't really be in this country and introduced whatever and they've found their way into various places, canals and things and they shouldn't be here so what you get is Canal and Rivers Trust going around electrocuting, taking out the Zander out and getting rid. Um, so basically that spoils our low fishing sport, so you really, you know, what you want to be doing is be careful what you're posting on Facebook and it's not just so much for the guys who's following you around and fishing your sports, but the people like that who's watching videos like this and whoever and going around and zapping your water, so a lot of these Midland lads, that's what they're up against, their local waters are just getting 
emptied of Xander and it's for, for us it's, it's a bit of sport or for those people it's a bit of sport and we enjoy it. I know we shouldn't really live on native fish but so just be careful what you're posting. You can see this this shot that we we've got here doesn't actually show up too much so and you'll see, like I said the video's not been not been scenic and not give too much away. We're on a Midlands canal. We'll catch on this. video back under I want to get some footage <laughs> Go. oh fish oh, God, the bite was crazy oh man oh man this is under on it on your yellow one I told you we'd go for yellow man put yellows <laughs> 